Ladies and gentlemen, has Joe Rogan sold out? Well, let's take a look. Coming up on this episode of the Dan Dawson Show. Hello, friends. I wanted to make a video to address some of the controversy that's been going on over the past few days. And first of all, to say thank you to everyone that sent love and support. I truly, truly appreciate it. And it's been very nice to hear from you. I wanted to make this video, first of all, because I think there's a lot of people that have a distorted perception of what I do, maybe based on sound bites or based on headlines of articles that are disparaging. Um, the podcast has been accused of spreading dangerous misinformation, specifically about two episodes, a little bit about some other ones, but specifically about two, one with uh, Dr. Peter McCullough and one with Dr. Robert Malone. Dr. Peter McCullough is a cardiologist and he is the most published physician in his field in history. Dr. Robert Malone owns nine patents on the creation of mRNA vaccine technology and is at least partially responsible for the creation of the technology that led to mRNA vaccines. Both these people are very highly credentialed, very intelligent, very accomplished people, and they have an opinion that's different from the mainstream narrative. I wanted to hear what their opinion is. I had them on, and because of that, those episodes in particular, uh, they, those episodes were labeled as being dangerous. They had dangerous misinformation in them. The problem I have with the term misinformation, especially today, is that many of the things that we thought of as misinformation just a short while ago are now accepted as fact. Like, for instance, eight months ago, if you said, if you get vaccinated, you can still catch COVID and you can still spread COVID, you would be removed from social media. They would, they would ban you from certain platforms. Now, that's accepted as fact. If you said, I don't think cloth masks work, you would be banned from social media. Now, that's openly and repeatedly stated on CNN. If you said, I think it's possible that COVID-19 came from a lab, you'd be banned from many social media platforms. Now, that's on the cover of Newsweek. All of those theories that at one point in time were banned were openly discussed by those two men that I had on my podcast that have been accused of dangerous misinformation. I do not know if they're right. I don't know because I'm not a doctor. I'm not a scientist. I'm just a person who sits down and talks to people and has conversations with them. Do I get things wrong? Absolutely. I get things wrong, but I try to correct them. Whenever I get something wrong, I try to correct it because I. Ladies and gentlemen. So you just saw there in Joe's own words and what he's saying is true. He's not lying. Some things you could have said last year, you can't say this year, even if you were right last year. Take for instance, YouTube's policy is if I come on here and say the vaccine does this or does that, they'll strike this channel. They'll take it down. They'll demonetize this video, which is not monetized anyway, so I don't really care, but they will take it down. Joe's not wrong. So the question we have to ask ourselves, did Joe Rogan sell out? Or is this Joe's way of telling the truth? Now, you can watch the bitches from The View talk about this and that and that. I, I tell you what, let me, I'm going too far. Let me stop. Here's what I'm going to do. There will be a whole separate video on this on Rumble. It may look like it's starting out the same. It is not. If you want to see the real video, the unedited version, go over to Rumble. Tell me what you think over there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, just... Let me know in the comments below. Is Joe bowing down or is Joe taking shots? He's a very smart dude. I think he's taking shots. I don't think he bowed down on this one. Hey, but if he thinks he bowed down, that's on him. If you think he bowed down, that's on you. I really don't think he did. Tell you another little funny story. I got the water on my hat today. So... I went out, my horse, not want to be out in the rain. It's raining like hell down here in South Texas on the ranch here where we live. But I had to check on the cows. So I'm saddling her up and she's looking at me like, yeah, no, we're not going to do this today, bro. 
But I saddled up anyway, and we rode out. And I get out there to check on the cows, and the cows are all in dry spots, and they're looking at me like, does this idiot know he's in the rain? I tell you, people, no good deed goes unpunished. But like I said in the comments, let me know what you think about the Joe Rogan situation. Uh, let me know what you think about Spotify now wanting to put um, warning labels on podcasts. They did that with music. They've done it with video games. They've taken a much slower route to the Nazi objectives than the Nazis did, and it's working better for them. This is what it is. The View, CNN, MSNBC, Joni Mitchell, all Nazis. All Nazis. And here is how you get the Nazi propaganda. But like I said, if you want to see my real thoughts, my real views, going over to Rumble, Dan Dawson, D -A, capital D-A-N, capital D-A-W-S-O-N, and look on my show and tell me what you think. Other than that, though, like, subscribe, share. And as always, especially in these days and times, keep your powder dry and do what you got to do.